we're gonna start off Tim's build with the rear suspension. This is all Icon stuff. So we have two lower control arms. We have a traction bar, a set of lift springs, and some remote reservoir Icon shocks. We're gonna kind of take everything off as we put all the new stuff on. So let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> to get to oh, 13. 13? 13? Sure. Yeah. Oh, what are you, Will? <laughs> Stay in place. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What are you, Will? Look at me. Did you give me just a socket? No, <laughs> it doesn't work, bro. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Was that a half inch? That's, that's Will compensating. <laughs> that's Will oh, trying to compensate. Oh, <laughs> I said 12, what did you give me? You said 13. No, he said 13. Do not give me that. Oh, Listen to Ricky. What side did he give you? Oh my god. How many throttle mechanics? <laughs> Cue the trades. Way too long of a bowl for this bracket. It's perfect. No. Stink it up. What is that? See? Let's compare uh, rods. Is it really that different? Okay, so look. So I guess the new one is the And then this is also and adjustable. This is fully adjustable. Uh -huh. This is stationary. Oh, like a glove. Give me a hole, baby. Ooh, give me a hole, baby. Right, On shock out, baby. Right. Kind of suck it now. It's gonna really suck getting in. Oh. Yeah. That's a lift spring right there, baby. How are you gonna get that That's in? That's good. I don't know. We'll figure that out. That's gonna take all three of us. So this is the top? That's yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. We need to drill a big hole. The bracket for the reservoir. So it has a plate that requires for us to mount it to the frame. So we are gonna create a bolt-on, bolt-off situation in case it needs to be serviced or removed. Our buddy Tim can easily access it. Lift kit is installed. Now we're going to move on to the front. The front's going to be a little bit more involved. We have, of course, our shocks and struts here. We have a set of upper control arms that are going to be replacing the factory ones. These are going to get the alignment where it needs to be. In addition to that, we have uh, mounts for the remote reservoirs. We have new bushings for the upper control arms. We have a sway bar spacer kit. A couple of other things. These uh, we're actually going to have to do some trimming on the inside of the frame rail and some trimming at the front to clearance the tires. These are actually going to be little weld-in things where we cut the frame out. We're going to put these back in. It's going to add some rigidity and weld it back up, and we'll be good. And then we also have a dip drop kit. So it's going to lower the front differential so it doesn't put as much of a strain on the CV axles when you lift the truck. So a lot of stuff to get on. Let's get the old stuff off. We'll start putting the new stuff on.
Oh, I feel you can't see it. No, no, I'm just. How many guys does it take to put a? I'm just here to touch wheel. <laughs> it's you working. Gotta, you gotta move it. I am moving. Spread it. Yeah. Spread it, Will. What do you want me to spread? Ah, what the hell? <laughs> that's right here. Oh, what what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, Rick what is me in the back? What do you need? That's not my flashlight. Hold on. Here, give me the hammer. Oh. Not that hammer. <laughs> we go that up and down. Yeah, I'm free. All right. I'm good, Ricky. You don't need to be that close behind me anymore. Hey, man. All right. Had a great time. All right. We got our new struts in. We got our old control arms off. Now we're going to put our bushings in. We're going to grease these bad boys up. Bad boy. Bad boys. And then in the car it goes. These are the nipples, dude. Uh, so they're Zerg fittings, so like we just assembled them with grease, but usually the grease will kind of lose its greasiness over time. And if you want to <laughs> add more grease, you just put a grease gun against the fitting and go and then it goes and puts grease all on the inside. I think we need to get a grease gun. trucks because the bolts go in and out very easily. No rusty and crusty. No rust here. All right, so this is the mount for the reservoir part of the Icon front suspension. And it's gonna mount just like this. It actually takes place right under their sway bar mount. So it's gonna be laying just like this. This thing is gonna be attached to this. We'll be able to bolt this up, the sway bar back up, and after that we'll be able to put the sway bar back into the uh, suspension arms, and then we should be all set with this corner, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm only removing that so we can have plenty of space for me able to do what we need to do next, which is put the reservoir bar up there. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this. I can hold this out here like this, bolt it down or tie it down to the bracket, or put the bracket in here first, bolt it, and then try to do that. Now, I've never done this on this car, so it's my first time, so I'm gonna attempt to put the bracket in first, and then I'm gonna try to tie it down to that, and if that doesn't work, then I go back and do it the other way. So now it's not tight, I have it um, just barely in there and I want to see how easy it would be to bolt this here, but I can already tell that this is in the way. I'm going to shave it down and remove it. Oh, that's holding the... Uh... Oh, crap. What? That's the windshield wiper rest board. Well, I guess Timmy's not going to have flavor fluid anymore. No, we can't take that off. I mean, we still gain a lot of space by removing that. So let's hope. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's already way better. Our Icon front suspension is on. We have our control arms, our shocks, everything looks really good. 